Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to fix the battery drain on iOS 18.3.2. As you probably know, Apple has just recently released this new update to the iPhones. If you're having problems with your battery drain, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that I recommend that will most likely increase the battery life of your iPhone. Now, when it comes to new updates, the first thing you want to do in order to make sure that you have better battery life is actually do nothing just wait for a few days now this has been also confirmed by apple once a new software update is installed on an iphone it will require like four or five days before the update settles in on the device and then it works properly and it gives you the proper battery life that that software update has so wait for a few days and see if the battery life of your device will actually improve the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have all of your apps up to date now this is really important because every time we have a new ios update there will be a ton of apps that will actually release updates as you can see all these apps have just today released updates for iphones apps of course you can see right here all these apps have been updated today usually most of the apps especially the most popular ones will actually release new updates after a new software update is released so of course they're more compatible with the new release so make sure you update your apps or what you want to do if you don't want to actually bother with that you can just go ahead and head on to your settings go under apps and then go to app store right here and then you will have automatic downloads make sure that you have app updates enabled what that means is that the apps will be updated automatically once a new update is available for that app so you don't have to bother with checking your apps whether they are up to date or not now the next thing will be apple intelligence now a lot of users will have apple intelligence on their device but i know a lot of them will also turn it off and not use it now of course apple intelligence will actually use battery out of your iphone so if you don't think it's necessary for your iphone or you just don't want to use it you don't need it then you might just want to turn it off completely and with ios 18.3.2 i've seen a ton of reports from a lot of users who had this turned off that it actually did did turn it on back automatically once they have installed iOS 18.3.2 on their devices. So if that's the case, make sure you check the Apple intelligence and Siri right here and turn it off, of course, if you don't want to use it. Now with iOS 18, of course, we have a brand new control center and there are a lot of things that you can add now to the control center. There are also like different widgets that you can add to the control center that are animated. They basically show different animations. I don't know if I have a few here from that app called iScreen. It has some really cool ones, but of course they will consume battery. Like if I add this one right here, I can turn it on. It will animate right there on the control center, but it does consume unnecessary battery so make sure you check your control center and don't add stuff that you don't actually need the same goes for apps as well don't keep apps that are draining the battery out of your iphone now the way to check that is pretty simple head on to your settings go under the battery section and what you will see right here is a list of apps and how much battery they have used on your iphone now of course if you see here apps that you know you have used a lot that's normal but if you see here apps that you have maybe used for a few minutes a day or maybe haven't used for like a couple of days or so and they are still here at the top that means that it's time to actually re remove those apps from your device and maybe find a better alternative on the app store there are apps that are actually poorly coded and they will just drain the battery and even heat up your iphone so make sure you check the apps here and remove the ones that you know are not good for the battery of your iphone and the widgets on the home screen as well i know you can have some pretty cool widgets with the home screen they look good and all that but a lot of widgets nowadays are widgets that will display things like weather or maybe your steps and they need to be updated all the time that of course requires cpu power and requires battery as well so if you're just having bad battery life on your iphone consider checking the con the widgets that you have on your home screen and lock screen as well and remove the ones that you don't actually need now what i see a lot of people doing is that they will have a ton of widgets right here which are actually enabled by default on ios so on the last page here where you'll probably never go and never use you will have things like news here and things like that so make sure you also disable those as well you can simply 
tap and hold here, go to the edit mode and just remove the widgets from here. Next up is a new feature that I think you should disable on iOS 18. Go to accessibility right here and what you will find is something called vocal shortcuts. Vocal shortcuts is right here. Now what's cool about this feature is that you said basically a phrase that you will say and it will actually perform an action. So if we, I tap on add action, I can set up a phrase right here and then I can choose something like you can see right here. If I say the word lock, it will lock the rotation on my device. It's pretty cool. But when you have it enabled, it does actually use the microphone all the time right there. As you can see, it stays actually enabled right there on the dynamic island it, it indicates that it's using the microphone that means that of course that is also using the battery on the iphone which is really really bad so if you don't really really need this feature make sure you have it turned off now the same goes for music haptics as well now this is what this feature will be useful of course for a ton of people i'm really glad apple has added this feature it's actually pretty cool but if you don't really need it make sure you immediately turn it off this will just drain the battery out of your iphone what it does it uses the haptic engine on the iphone to provide you haptic feedback on the music but of course it does drain the battery the haptic engine does consume a ton of battery so make sure to turn this off as well now the same goes for sound recognition it will be found right here as well so that we have sound recognition now what this feature does and it's pretty old so it will basically listen for sounds and then notify you when it hears the sounds that you have set so if i enable it right here i can have a few different sounds that i add here and once it recognizes one of those sounds like from this list right here it will notify me this might be useful on some really really rare cases if that's not the case make sure you also turn this feature off next up we're moving under the general settings and here we have airdrop now with airdrop we have the bring devices together feature i know it's cool maybe to try it once or twice but it's actually not that useful and it will drain the battery out of your iphone so basically what you're doing with this you just hold your iphone next to another one it will share your information or when maybe the air drops something that most likely if you have this feature enabled you know that most of the time that will happen by accident now that you're trying to do that because of course the old way to just tap the share button and airdrop something it's much more convenient so go ahead and turn this off as well next up is the back tap feature under accessibility here touch right down here you will have back tap now the back tap is that cool feature where you double tap or triple tap on the back of your iphone to invoke one of these actions but how many times you have set up this feature and you just end up invoking that action let's say you have the camera set up right there you're launching the camera several times a day all that by accident so if you don't really use this make sure you have it turned off as well because it will just launch an action and just drain the battery without any reason at all because as i said as you probably have experienced this yourself it will most of the time just trigger by accident another cool to have feature but that i think is not that useful can be found here under display and brightness and it is called rise to wake i have this turned off always on my iphone what it does it will wake up the screen of your iphone when you pick up the phone from a table or you just pick it out of your pocket it will just light up the screen of your iphone now that of course when it lights the screen does consume battery but also the movement that you do it has to sense that movement it will also drain the battery so make sure you have this turned off as well now another one that you can find right here is auto lock you should have auto lock enabled on your iphone and this is one of the tips that apple actually gives when it comes to battery so go to auto lock and make sure you have this right here enabled and you can see i have it on never because of the recording of the video so i don't need to have my iphone just locking in the middle of the video but when i have it selected on never here you can see it says right there your iphone may use more energy with this setting so make sure you enable this feature either 30 seconds or one minute whichever one you want it's better for the battery but better of course for the security of your iphone because you don't want to leave your iphone somewhere and it stays unlocked 
Next up, we're moving again under accessibility right here and let's just find Siri. So we have Siri right here and we have a feature called always listen for the word. You know, I don't want to trigger Siri on your iPhones. So when this is enabled, it will always stay active listening for that word to just launch Siri. I know most people very rarely use Siri, but if you do and you have this enabled, it will stay active all the time. So whether your iPhone is in your pocket or it's facing down on a table, it will always stay active listening for that word and you know what that means, it does consume a ton of battery. Moving back here under sounds and haptics, so when you go here, go to haptics and you will have a few different options. Always play is the worst option you can enable right here, it will always play haptics on your iPhone whether your iPhone is on ringer or not. Now I have it selected on never play because I just don't like haptics on my device, but you can just maybe enable this one, play in silent mode, that's the best option. It will of course save you a ton of battery, but also will play haptics when your device is on silent mode so you don't miss any like important call or notification, so that's the best option that you can choose under sounds and haptics. And last but not least, head on to the general settings, we have the old background app refresh. This is another one of those four or five tips that Apple had released earlier talking about battery life. You should go ahead and take a look at the apps that you have here. There will be a ton of apps that most likely you don't need to be refreshing in the background. If you have all of these apps enabled here, they will consume a ton of battery. So make sure you go ahead, check out these apps and in my opinion, you should turn off most of them. Just take a look at the list and see which apps don't actually need to be refreshing in the background and turn them completely off. So that is it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.